Welcome to Karinchi Resolve. My mission is to help editors create stunning masterpieces without spending even one pound wasting endless hours with editing. And today I will show you how you can create this insane glitch effect in DaVinci Resolve. So let's dive right into it. To download the effect go to the link in the description and copy it and paste it into your browser. Then you will get to my Karinchi Resolve store. Here you can see the preview and all the controls. To download it, just click on download now and go through the download process. After that, you will find the DRFX file in your download folder. Just double click it, go to DaVinci Resolve and click on install. Now you can go to your effects library under effects Karinchi Resolve and here you should find the effect. If it's not there, just quickly restart DaVinci Resolve. After that, you should find it in the effects library. If you hover over it, you can already see the effect. To apply it, just drag and drop it onto your masked fusion clip. If you want to know how to mask and create a fusion clip, just watch one of my previous tutorials, but I will also make a masking tutorial soon, where I will explain everything in detail. After that, close the effects library and click on your masked clip. Go to the inspector to effects and here you can see all the controls. This effect is nothing special, just a glitch effect so it will only have a few controls. For example you can change the position of the glitch effect, you can change also the size, you can change the angle, you can change the apply mode. With this you have many possibilities which will have a huge difference. For example with overlay you will get something like this. With lighten you will get something like this and you can just play around with the different apply modes to create the effect you want. For example with difference. After that you can decide if you want to have the alpha channel on or off. You can change the glow size then it will be more softened and you can also change the apply mode and the edges and if you don't want the movement of this effect you can just turn down the blend. Then it will stay on the place where your original mask is. Also this effect is time responsive so if you change the length of your mask clip the length of the effect will also change. So you can get some really different effects with that just by changing the apply mode. If you like this effect and this tutorial then leave a like on the video and subscribe to my channels for more free presets and tutorials. You can also use this button to watch more tutorials and you can use this button to get to my other social links. See you in the next one.